Okay, let's look at one more proportional relationship together. Okay, number two, a boomerang spins three times every two seconds. Okay, a little bit different than the other one. After zero seconds, okay, it's only had zero spins. Okay, but if it spins three times every two seconds, that means after two seconds, it would have spun three times. Okay, and after four seconds, that would be an extra two seconds. So you would add an extra three to three. So that would be six. So after four seconds, six total spins. Okay, the constant of proportionality and the unit rate. Okay, this is a little bit different than the others. Kind of ignore zero, zero. Okay, I told you that the constant of proportionality was y divided by x. Okay. Uh, sometimes you want to think of it as just y over x reduced if it doesn't turn out pretty. So like if I take three spins divided by two, I'm just looking at this set right here. If I just take three spins over two seconds. See, three doesn't divide by two evenly. Typically, I would say just to, just to keep that as an improper fraction. Just keep it as three halves spins per second. If you did it with six, six over four, six over four reduces to three over two. So you get the same thing, but I would just keep it as an improper fraction. I mean, of course, you could make it one and a half if you wanted to, but I would just keep it as three halves spins per second. Okay, so that's the unit rate. And three halves would be the constant of proportionality. Okay, so the constant of proportionality would be three halves. The unit rate would be three halves spins per second. Okay, a little bit different. And again, think of, think of it as one and a half spins per second if you want to. Okay, when we graph the data, we have zero, zero. Let's put that on the point zero, zero on the graph. And again, on this problem, notice I'm, well, I'm counting by threes but I'm really showing you every unit in between. Okay, so never mind. Okay, for two seconds, three spins. So go over to two seconds on the x-axis up to three spins. And then over four seconds up to six spins. Over to four seconds up to six spins. Okay, there's my points. It'd be nice if you drew the line by doing the select tool there. Okay, there's my graph. Okay, now we can find the slope with labels in the equation. Okay, the slope is rise over run. Okay, and again, I want to stay, I want to use labels. So when I rise, I'm just going to go from here to here. When I rise, I'm going up three spins. And then when I run, I'm going over two seconds. Okay, so my rise over my run, my slope, would be three spins for my rise over two seconds for my run. And again, kind of like when we did the constant of proportionality, I would just keep it as three halves. Three halves spins per second.
Okay, so my slope with labels, I'm going, I'm rising three spins. I'm running two seconds. So my slope with labels would be three halves spins per second. In my equation, okay, it's always y equals. Okay, the next number is my slope. On my slope, I'm going up three over two, just like we just talked about. After my three halves, I'm going to put my x. And then at the end is my y-intercept. Okay, where does my line cross the y-axis? It crosses it at zero. So it would be y equals 3 halves x plus zero. But it's kind of silly to put plus zero because it doesn't change anything. So y equals 3 halves x. Okay, the last question. How many boomerang spins would there be after 10 seconds? Okay, a um, couple different ways you could do it. If it was me, I would probably just use the data table and just keep going down my graph or keep going down my data. So notice on the x-axis, I'm going down by twos, increasing by two. I'm just going to keep doing that. Up to six, up to again is eight, up to again is 10. On my y side, should have told you that, putting that in there. You're going up twos on the left. And as you go down my data, you're going up three on the right. So just keep going up by threes. Okay, three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. Nine plus three is 12. 12 plus three is 15. So just by using the data table, expanding it, you get after 10 seconds, there's 15 spins. This is just a little bit trickier to do with multiplying by three halves or dividing by three halves. So I thought you would probably just as soon follow the pattern. Okay, so for 10 seconds, there's 15 spins. Hey guys, there's three more problems. Uh, do the best you can. Um, this is new stuff. It, it does get better, but just uh, uh, do the best you can and contact me if you have any questions.